Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle feud today and this one is insanely close, comes right down to the final few units, so it's definitely worth waiting around to see what happens. But yes, we have two huge armies of Dol Guldur and Gondor battling out today, um, and well, one army of each fighting it out, and uh, yeah, we're going to have combat straight away, there's no, uh, this is on the Sigillion uh, Valley uh, map, so it's one of the newer maps. It's a really cool map, so it's kind of like divided by this river, so we've got a fight going to happen on that side and a fight going to happen on this side. As the Ringlow Vale men at arms engage, uh, Dolgal does uh, pikes, who have not got their pikes down, so this is a perfect time for these Ringlow Vale men at arms to go in and fight uh, without having to worry about the pikes forcing them back and impaling them. There's some phantoms in here as well. See so a big long line going to be forming up and there's still a little way around so if someone can uh, use that there's a, a flanking manoeuvre on. And there we go, artillery is already firing in. I'm pretty sure that's Dolgal does artillery all the way back there, he's trying to focus down some Gondor infantry. Got some Gondorian spears in here as well by the looks of it. But it's good to be back in Middle Earth. Had a little bit of a break. Uh, and yeah, we're now back. There you go, that's an excellent hit there. How many of those guys got killed? So they already lost five men just doing that, and they're going to be sent even closer to the line, just so it's a bit of a risk for the uh, enemy artillery to be shooting at them. Uh, this artillery piece back, it looks like they've been trying to shoot them back there as well. Half this ring load, the hill men at arm units not even in combat. You saw that out. Oh. Only problem is there's a lot of foliage. But here we go. We've got a shield wall being formed here with the Gondor spears. And in goes some Goldor blades. And you imagine these Gondor spears will hold this. a really long line. And in comes another line of uh, Gondor Spears as well. Looks like they're just piling in the troops at the moment. But I mean, these uh, Spears are starting to get around. You can see here in this gap, they're just trying to get around this... Uh, I mean, these might be the Pikes, actually. Yeah, these are the Pikes, and they're losing decisively. They've already lost 90 men. Yeah, all of the Pikes on like, every front is uh, not doing so well, because they never got their Pikes out in time. Arch is already firing. We've got artillery back here. For Gondor firing as well, he's trying to fire it. I think this massive blob back here, trying to hit anything in this region. I mean, as soon as you move into this region here, the frames go up ever so slightly. Yeah, these Gondor, uh, these Goldor uh, blade glaives back here, just getting focused down. Really good target to be shooting at. And they're actually getting knocked down and like scores. I'm seeing scores get knocked down right now. Um, yeah, so we got the other side get forming up. This side, the pikes are actually down. Actually, are down. So. Not going to have an issue here, but, I mean, this is a smaller army for Gondor to defend with. We've got some Gondor spears, uh, lots of Gondor spears, Penneth Gillian, spearmen, and then we've got Gondor swords, archers, we've got Warriors of Lozenarch, and we've got some Citadel guards. I think we've got some Citadel, Citadel guards and Lozenarch on the other side as well, but not as many. But we've got a lot more swords and spears over this side. And there you go, the first pikes have gone, and they're already, Gondor's already moving down to the next line, which is Phantoms. And these guys run dead, so they won't die, uh, they won't rout, basically. If you haven't seen the, these units in action before, the Phantoms and the Wraiths, which is the sword variant, they do not break. They will fight to the death. They've already died once, so why do they fear death again? And here comes some Gondor swords coming in. Look at this line of Gondor, it's just so thick. Thick with three Cs. And they are actually flanking on. There is a gap here in the line. Um, so they've actually pushed on. So they could. This unit here is under threat. Um, I think there is some. What have we got here? We've got some Penneth Gillen spears getting ready. I think just for that very move possibly. I don't know. These guys are just. I think they're moving closer to the line. So they don't have to worry about um, the artillery. But they might be about to go in here. Got archers firing at the back. Lozen archers coming up with the 
troops. And we've got more archers over here. Trying to focus down stuff. Artillery coming in for Gondor. I'm seeing a lot of friendly fire from Gondor. Or like misses from Gondor. Oh. That one definitely was nearly friendly fire. That one's inches away from the hitting back lines. That one definitely did. That one surely did. They're, yeah, they're getting closer and closer to hitting their own lines here, Gondor. Their artillery crew is clearly drunk. Like, look at that guy. He's got an axe in his head. I didn't even see, like, realize he had that. But, like, he's died once before, that man. You don't survive those sort of hits. Um, and he's been reborn. And there you go. Chopped down. Excellent to see. That one was definitely friendly fire. Unless that was... That might have actually been Dolgo does artillery. I'm not sure. That one is still firing. There's a lot of orcs of uh, Dolgul Dos be getting through as well. I mean, it does look awesome. Like, the Penneth Gillen Spears here as well. And they're green. Looks glorious. And artillery just constantly coming in. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's hitting at the back here. What we've got here, we've got archers and cavalry coming in. This is some very elite cavalry. Triple silver chevron gondor cavalry. Um, I think it's just looking for gaps. There is a gap in the line here. These are uh, Axemen of Lozenarch are kind of getting outmaneuvered here. They're getting surrounded by the phantoms that are coming up. But we've got cavalry. I mean, I think it's looking for some spaces. We've got Citadel Guard now coming up. And fire arrows now coming in. I think they're trying to burn the artillery pieces down here. Which is not a bad idea. Or it just lowers the morale of these uh, guys ever so slightly. I mean, they are actually getting killing quite a few of the uh, Merkwood guys. The skirmish phase has started over here. Um, Gondor should win the skirmish phase. Mainly because these archers are pretty awful. You can see by the numbers. 240 of them. Uh, I don't think Gondor's taken any casualties yet from these guys. I mean, they, they're in spear wall. Need to be careful of this flank here, though. This is still a vulnerable flank. They haven't quite stretched out far enough. Yeah, there, you, there you go. A second unit is broken. Now we're on to the final unit. These Merkwa trackers. Yeah, they're pretty. They're just going to die. I think they're just getting even closer. They're going to end up just killing themselves doing that. Yeah, this is a pretty sizable force over here. We've got uh, Goldor Blades. Um, we've got Wraiths here. We have uh, champions of Dol Guldur, so some very elite shock. Uh, Goldor Pikes, obviously, which actually have their Pikes down race at the back again. And more Goldor Blades. But yeah, men are starting to break for Gondor. I mean, what's this? This is a Ringlow... Me yeah, okay, yeah, I remember this. There's a Ringlow Vale Men at Arms that broke at 144, and it's now coming back. Sensei. So the cavalry goes in to get a charge off on these guys. Uh, not a bad charge. Got lots of... <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a great view, actually. Oh my gosh, that was a really good hit there, there by the artillery. That's got a lot of archers, a lot of cavalry. Really need to take out that artillery soon. I mean, they are starting to lose their crew, and they're running out of uh, ammo. The general is also going in for Dol Guldur. Do not give one inch of ground, men of Gondor. You are the men of the west. Citadel Guard now in here is getting a desperate time so the Citadel Guard's already been uh, sent in. And it kind of had. Uh, with that massive break, it almost, like, the Citadel Guard needed to go in to make up some ground. But, I mean, all the units rejoined the battle quite quickly. So the Citadel Guard's now in the front lines for no real reason. It should do okay, though. Lots of fighting over here. Got Gondor infantry trying to flank around the side. The officer here. I always love the Gondor officers. They look so cool. So badass. I hear more artillery going off. I'm not actually quite sure who it is. Okay, so there you go. Two of the artillery did burn and uh, were destroyed. They didn't bother to put their crew back on the artillery. 
I don't know why. Maybe they just thought they were just going to get burned again. Or maybe just didn't realize that they'd uh, returned. But yeah, we get some good hits now. We're shooting uh, the general at the back here. But there is a big blob. that If you can get the Yasuo really close, you can just focus down these guys here. Then there's lots of infantry now coming over. What have we got coming over? We've got Wraiths. More Wraiths and Goldor Blades coming over to support the side. Because Dolgoldor's thinking he's running out of troops here. I mean, he's got a lot engaged. These Ringlow Veil men at arms should return again. They don't care how many men have died. They'll return for a final fight. Um, yeah, I mean, much of this is the pikes that are... Uh, not got their pikes on fans. Was getting outmaneuvered now. This flank's looking pretty bad. Getting slowly surrounded by these uh, Gondor infantry. That's a really good hit there, I just realised. By the artillery. Yeah, that one got about 10 men or something like that. But these archers as well. The archer support on this side is probably devastating a lot of the lines here. The archers need to keep doing a lot of damage. But there you go. The lines on the other side have now engaged. Well, they've been engaged for a little while by the looks of it. But pikes are now down. Look at this. Forcing back the ring of uh, the Penneth Gun Spears. We just have to kind of stand there. There's not much I can do. Um, really. Gondor swords are sort of like attacking on the flank. So that should help ever so slightly. But again, they're kind of getting forced back. You need to be aware of this unit here. I think it's going to go into the flank here. Yep. Yeah, and now they're engaged in two fronts, these guys. Fighting it out in the palm trees. I don't exactly know where Sigillian Valley is supposed to be in the world, but it's uh, it's got a lot of palm trees. I don't think Gondor would be here, or the go or Dol Guldur for that matter. Yeah, these guys are uh, just quite happily standing here while uh, Dol Guldur just shoot uh, stabs them. Look at that, 199. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, they're slowly getting okay. I was uh, like happy standing there. They're getting picked off ever so slow slightly, but not much we can do. We can either attack and. Uh, die quicker or we can just get impaled slowly or we can retreat but that just then lets infantry through so you're kind of in a really sticky position with those pikes you need archer archers to focus them down or artillery which uh, I mean my artillery is still doing okay it's burning some stuff down but uh, we are risking a lot of friendly fire at the moment as well and there we go a big route there that's huge now the gondor infantry goes into the phantoms here and into those that there, and we've got another hit at the rear. Just burning trees more than anything. We're not really hitting much. We do with hitting stuff here. This is lots of troops being uh, left back here. This race unit would be great to hit as well. And then we've got here gold or blades. Coming up. This is the reserves that came all up, that came all the way across this river here. They're now arriving. But it's just turning into an absolute massive grind fest. Just who can, who will go on longer in this break, in this breach? It's not even a breach, really. It's just like slope. But Gondor is looking good. Oh, that was that was an okay. Actually, that was an excellent hit. Jeez, that's a really good hit there. But I mean, you can see Gondor has a push forward but there's now a huge hole in this uh in the line what broke here some penethgill and spears at 74 men did break and ringlow male uh ringlow veil men at arms broke uh, but yeah so now i'm sending archers gondor to uh, basically hold them back and they have a lot of ammo well, not a lot but they have some ammo left so that's a real shame it's the wraiths going in they are now being a, a real issue because they won't die or, or break so yeah lots of archers being sent in And what have we got back here? We've now got a uh, unit of Gondor Spear Infantry that's been pulled back from the front line. It's now coming in re-engaged. We've got Penneth Gill and Spears now here as well. And there you go. It's kind of been resorted out this line, but it is starting to break a bit. Gondor is over-committing. And there, that was a really bad friendly fire, I'm pretty sure. That one certainly hit some of our own troops. We did hit... Are these wraiths breaking? No. Dolgaldor, okay. 
We've got archers all the way over here. These archers all the way here are just focusing down these uh, units here. But, I mean, they've got more units breaking of Gondor. Gondor spears breaking. looks so glorious. The dark black of Goldor, Dol Guldur against like the silver of Gondor. You can just see in the like, and there's a good shot there in the back again, but you can see it just like along this whole line where Gondor and like Dol Guldur clash. The cavalry went in for a charge. I think there is another hole in the line over here. Uh, not really. I think that's a pretty poor charge actually. Might want to get the cavalry to go through this gap here which is forming. And then it can go in and it can go after the archers in the rear. More hits by the artillery. It's like they're getting some of their own men though, is Gondor. It's not a clean hit. The start is they need to start moving along the line and hitting all the stuff. If they can keep their artillery alive on this flank, that will really help. Anyway, on the other flank, what is happening? Well, it's looking a lot more dire, I'd say, for Gondor on this side. Um, I mean, I'm not saying the other side's looking great either. Um, but yes, this unit of Gondor swords has been over, has overcommitted. It's now got flanked by uh, the Gondor blades and by the pikes, and is uh, yeah starting to have a bit of an issue. We've got Citadel guards now engaged over here already, flying Gondor blades. Do you imagine that these Citadel guard will uh, will win? Then we've got the general already committed. Lots of troops here trying to hold back these champions of Dol Guldur as well. But I mean, Dol Guldur is making ground here, I'd say. Ever so slowly making ground. Just, apologies, it's a bit dark. It's just we're in the shade of some trees. If you've been enjoying the battle, guys, then don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. As the Ringlo, no, Penneth Gillen, sorry, uh, the Penneth Gillen spears are breaking. So these pikes are now almost freed up. Still really need to take these guys out. The archers are desperately trying to hit them, but there's so many of them. You need to get some good rear uh, shots, but obviously it's going to be kind of hard at the moment in this scenario. Um, the archers here breaking, but uh, rejoined. They've got a little bit of ammo left. They need to use the ammo. The cavalry is in behind. Uh, which is great, great news. That means they can mop up this, uh, these archers, which won't probably do much damage, but just get rid of them. So they're now in the back lines and can just threaten this entire line of Dol Guldur. And this is going to be huge. They can get some good charges, um, these Gondor cavalry. And they could probably save this army. Balance of power, which was massively not in favor of uh, Gondor to start with, is now leveled out. Um, it's now about... Gondor now outnumbers Dol Guldur by 200 men. But I'd say... Dol Guldur is in a really good position in the, uh, like, down in the valley, up on this hill. Um, it's certainly a lot more even. It could go either way. And also... Gondor's got, doesn't have the ability to have troops that can't break, which Goldor, Dol Guldur still has. They still have phantoms, they still have wraiths. So them, them not breaking may be huge. Like you can see here, look, Citadel Guard now breaking or wavering. It's 66 men gone sick down to 63, but they, the cavalry really needs to get in here to save the day. Take this general out. Um, but yeah, there's a huge hole in the line here um, that really needs sorting out. All of a sudden, uh, Gondor's just kind of evaporated on this line here. A unit of Gondor Spear Infantry that returned just there. I mean, but it is really even. Gondor is uh, looking a bit rough here. Now, that's a really bad hit. That's hit a lot of Gondor Sword Infantry. And that one did as well. This is a fairly fresh Gondor Sword unit, and it's not so fresh anymore. And I think at that point, the artillery gets told to hold fire. Um, it should really hit these wraiths. These wraiths are just sat here doing nothing. Um, but yeah, it's now kind of on this side. Gondor is uh, desperately needed, and Dol Guldur here is clearly not uh, was clearly doing something on the other side. 
Because he's got two units here that are just freed up. They just need to get a move on. But the archers are going to take their time. They'll fire at them. They'll shoot. Um, but there is not any pikes here. So we're going to send him back in some Gondor Sword Infantry. Some Warriors of Loz and Arch. And some Penethkill and Spears by the looks of it. All going to get sent in. For Gondor! And the king! Warriors of Lost Arch with their big axes, they'll certainly do a lot of damage. I thought that unit was retreating, that we really need some units to retreat if you're rooting for Gondor. The general is now in here. He's slowly getting chipped away by these pikes. They can fall back, like if this general falls back and flanks around here, he can get a really good flank on these pikes, and then the archers can shoot in the back. And I think that's actually what the Warriors of Lost Arch are going to be tasked with doing here. They're going to go through this gap. But Dol Guldor has seen it, and he's got some Guldor blades, I think, ready. But, I mean, the flanks are now starting to waver as well on that side here. For uh, Gondor, it's not good. And there's a tiny unit of Dol Guldur around here. I think that routed and is, uh, like went through the uh, enemy lines and then kind of rallied. I don't know how they've quite got there. This unit of Gondor Spears, they really need to actually be given the order to do the attacks. Actually given an attack order because it's not actually doing anything because it could really do with taking out these wraiths. Enemy general is dead, though. Excellent, indeed. If you're rooting for Gondor... Uh, Dogodor's general has just fallen, so that is really going to damage the morale of this uh, army. Look at this, one unit of phantoms left fighting these, uh, these Gondor sword infantry, that is ridiculous. And the cavalry going to charge in there and get a fairly good charge onto these uh, wraiths, I imagine. Just as the Citadel Guard, no, Gondor spear infantry just break. And to be honest, Gondor's just had a, just as much of a, like, a route as uh, Dolgal does. It was almost like that Gondor lost his general. But it is looking very tenuous. Gondor is ever so slightly going back and forward in favour of Gondor. He's now got 500 men advantage. But he's still having issues over here. I mean, he's got a lot of depleted units. Still have the pikes to Dolgal Dor, which Gondor doesn't have an answer to. Didn't bring any Fountain Guard or any uh, pole arms. Just got archers. Now getting these Gondor archers. I think I don't know actually know where they're firing. Where are they gonna fire? Into the direct backs of these guys. That is gonna be devastating. Yeah. That is a nasty angle. I mean they're actually routing the Gondor sword infantry. There they and the warriors of Lost Arch, all gone. Need another volley off from you men. Another volley. Oh fill them with arrows. These champions of Dol Guldur. These are a nasty unit. And they still have 76 men in this unit. That was a good hit. I only got another four of them though. Now they're going to start cutting down my archers. And this whole flank is kind of gone now for, uh, for, Dol Guldur, uh, for Gondor. Sorry. But I mean they've taken a lot of pikes down with them luckily. Uh, there's still a lot of Guldur uh, pikes here though as well. Oh god. There's a lot of pikemen left. Uh, the uh, Citadel Guard here. Retreating as they should have done trying to get a flank on these gold or pikes and they're gonna just charge straight back in Not what they should have done and there you go realize that it's the mistake Trying to get around the flank here Then they get caught in combat here but These little guard are actually gonna beat these gold or blades here so they can then flank around this pike unit And the archers are beating the uh, champions of Dolgodor. You don't see that often um, but yeah, so I mean, they need to get these pi those pikes involved to help the uh, champions of Dol Duh. There's warriors of Loz and Arch broke once again. These guys just having a really rough day. Look at this guy. He's firing a point blank range. He doesn't give a damn. He's not give a damn. And here you go. The archers firing. They're gonna fire into the point blank range into these uh, champions of Dol Guldur. While some of the unit holds on and fights on. And there you go. They're going into combat now. But this unit is now wavering. These Dolgo blades. They can. The general here is uh, falling back because he sees the pikes coming in on the flank. 
It's a risky move pulling back from Pikes. You can usually lose a lot of men. Um, but over here, it's looking in favor of Gondor. A lot of units left for Gondor. But it's Wraiths left. The jet, uh, the cavalry, sorry, got absolutely massacred. I think by friendly fire and by these Wraiths, I'm not really sure. They took a lot of hits um, from from my own archers and I think from the artillery, which is now out of ammo and has been sent in and has already routed. But I mean, yeah, you've got lots of gold or blades in here firing out. I mean, you can do it getting these archers like around the side here. And they could then just fire into the flanks here. So that's what they're trying to do now. But I mean, all they're going to do is shoot into the back of their own men. It's not a great angle. I mean, they can shoot this unit as it comes up the, up the hill. These wraiths. I mean, they've still got a lot of ammo of some of these arch units. I mean, this one's nearly out. Just fill the sky with arrows, men. But yeah, I mean, be honest. Not much they can do. I mean, they're trying to... I think they are trying to... Yeah, they try to get a hit off there on those uh, final uh, race that are coming in. But yeah, I mean, they should route these guys eventually. Not route them, kill them off. They are losing. And this unit's losing as well. Um, but I mean, these two units keep breaking. Which is still an issue. It looks like these... Uh, the archers are going to turn around. And I think they're going to get behind these wraiths here. So they can just point blank shoot them in the back. These, this Gondor arch unit might need to go into combat soon. Because these two... Uh, units are about to break But I mean this side is not looking so good the general could die over here for Gondor But there you go. So these spears these Citadel guards did beat those uh, gold or blades and they can now flank around and That is exactly what they're going to do I mean Dolgaldor tried to save it. He has got his pike unit back uh, He's trying to save um, This pike unit has been surrounded, but eventually that will not uh not what happened. I mean, we've got Arch unit here. It's point blank shooting some of these uh, guys in the back as well. They're about to get silenced by some gold or blades, and that will probably wrap up those archers there. The general now trying to fall back. I think he's going to try and uh, get a flank on the this pike unit. But yeah, you can see. Look what happens when you fall back. You just lose so many men. Yeah, the general is now down to 89 men. And falling. I think the general's actually also joining around and flanking this uh, pike unit. Not a bad idea. Yeah, there you go. This unit's now losing. So all they've got to do, flank the pikes. They can flank the pikes, they'll be okay. Guard of the Citadel. Hold the line. Kill every last one of the orcs. Orc lives don't matter. Kill them all. do love the Dottle Gulder Pike, so they are probably one of my favorite looking uh, units for, well, for Dol Gulder, I think. I mean, the arm, they all look very similar, but I think the Pikes just make it that extra little bit more. They just look so good. But, I mean, uh, yeah, over here, I mean, it looks like a race nearly dead. We've got another unit of race nearly dead. Literally, there's two wraiths fighting out there. Against a load of archers. Uh, what's this unit? Is that just some gold or blade? Oh no, this is race as well. 54 of them. And they're winning. Against uh, two units of Gondor Sword Infantry. Which they out are outnumbered by. Just chop these goddamn wraiths down. And there we go. I, I was going to say, I thought it suffered route, but no, the race is still there. This is uh, Dolgo Blaze running back. I mean, it's absolute like, massacre. I mean, balance, like, look at the numbers now. Balance power is still in favor of Gondor, but I mean, Gondor could lose its general in a moment. Uh, it's not looking so hot over here. This is all they've got to fight against, and Gondor's general is now going to flank into the pikes. And the pikes are going to move. 
But they'll lose a few men every time that they do this. And the general's going to fall back as well. The Citadel Guard unit over here has kind of been condemned to do its own thing. But, I mean, what can it do? Against such reckless hate. A thin line of elite guardsmen. I mean, they do need to find a way to finish these pikes off. I mean, they are... I mean, the general around here is getting around them. And they have actually dropped their pikes. It's a perfect time to take these guys out. Take these guys out. They will not... Like, yeah. Charging in the general is chopping these guys down. Now is the time. Chop the... Get, just chop them down. Take out these pikes and you can probably win the battle actually after that because the pikes are all that like Dolgodor has over Gondor right now. Only thing that Gondor can't really defeat on a head on fight. But there you go. It looks like the uh, gold. Oh no. Sorry. I thought that was Goldor Blades that joined the fight because you can see him on the flanks. But I mean, the Goldor pikes are actually flanking the general and they're still, win still winning the Citadel Guard. But here you go, here the Goldor Blades now coming in to support the Pikes. I mean, the Pikes are now down to 104. They were a really fresh unit. Now they're getting cut down. They're down to less than 100 now. I think they're going to try and pull out of the Pikes. But they are going to still get cut down. And here come the Citadel Guard. And the Pikes are falling back. Could be careful. They could start to waver. They are wavering. They, they could break at any moment. They have not got a general. I mean, they're not so bothered that they haven't got a general anymore. And there you go. The pikes are down again. And we're back to where we were before. And the, and the uh, Citadel Guard pull out. It is really becoming very tactical now. The general is uh, losing here against Goldor Blades. And there you go. Into the flank come the Citadel Guard. But on the other side, what has happened then? So Gondor is looking like he's just about mopped this up. It's just how long can this Wraith unit hold out before Dol Gondor kills off Gondor's general? How many of them are left? 24. But yeah, they're frightened by enemy unit are uh, Gondor troops because they have a scare ability to the Wraiths. So they can damage a lot of morale quite quickly. So they could route those units on their own anyway. Might not need Gondor's general to die. But, yeah, you now can see that Gondor's general is now fighting the uh, Goldor blades while the Goldor pikes defend the rear, which is really good tactics by the Gon uh, by Dolgodor's player. And the, uh, look, yeah, look at this. They're edging in. They're just, you know, not quite sure whether to join the fight. And there you go. The general has fallen. They kind of cut it out there, but the general has just died. And uh, that is probably going to see curtains for this side. Like, there is no way these men will hold on their own. But the race over here look like they're going to lose. Let's see the final stand of the uh, Citadel Guard. You made a brave stand. Literally, literally, these two units have held for like probably about 10 minutes on their own. Like, while the rest of the Gondor flanking forces died. Like, this shows how elite these Citadel Guard are. And they're finally just gone. Yeah, this entire army is now gone for Gondor. Let's just look at the dead. Like, scattered everywhere. Like, all the just dead Citadel Guard. All the Gondor soldiers and spears. They took a lot of orcs with them, though. They basically made this army redundant. It's just down to two units of pretty battered pikes and swords. I mean, this Gondor blade unit is on a silver chevron. Um, so they are clearly very veteran up. I'm sure they got a lot of kills. 
And uh, but yeah, we're now just watching in here as uh, the Wraiths fight on. 15 men. They've lost like 10 men since we last looked. They are so hard to kill, so frustrating to kill. They are literally surrounded and these men just won't die. I mean, they are dying, just not quickly enough. Look at this brave man, he's just going deep into enemy lines. I mean, oh, I say man, he's a wraith. Uh, but yeah, now they're getting cut down. There's barely any of them left. I think this is the last one here, possibly. One of the last ones. Poor guy. Just getting attacked from all flanks. It's, it's the last one. And he's dead. Oh no, is he dead? Uh, he might be dead. He might just got knocked down. Yeah, he's just got knocked down. He's going to get up in a moment and just get stabbed instantly. And there you go. They give him another big... Another cordon just to... St Someone just stab him in the back. He can't look at everyone. There he go. Dead. Right, so that leaves... Three units of Gondor. Gondor sword infantry. Some archers, which I think have the tiniest bit of ammo left. And some Gondor spear infantry. So, I mean... It's massively at the moment in favour of the... Uh, Gondor troops, but if those pikes can uh, get the right angle, and they could route a lot of units quickly, and um, I mean Gondor's lost his general more recently than Dolgodor, so Dolgodor's got used to fighting without a general, Gondor necessarily hasn't I mean they are just very they're just more upset about being uh, exhausted and having sustained casualties, but we're just going to fast forward quickly while uh, these two uh, remaining forces meet up, so it's going to be very close um, 327 versus 155. Um, also, this Goldor Glaive unit is just really veteraned up, so they could just destroy Gondor, to be honest. I mean, the Gondor swords are not actually that bad themselves. This is a very fresh spear unit that needs to keep stay alive, basically. I'm surprised no one's decided to march their units instead. I'm surprised Dolgodor didn't just march his units instead, freshen them up a bit. Gondor's kind of got a... Yeah, I think he's was going to and then uh, decided not to. But I mean, yeah. Just got to get across this river crossing. Don't want to fight in the river because then you get minus 50% charge bonus. Not a good idea to fight in the river then. Uh, if you're ever playing Rise of Mordor. Yeah, so these units, look at them. Knackered. If uh, they can catch out Doggle does pikes without the pikes up, that would be even better as well. Really devastating that would be. But here we go. So it looks like it's been the final showdown on this side of the river. And the battle has turned in Gondor's favour, apparently. I'm sure that they're going to put down their pikes in a moment. Gondor might want to charge and see if he can catch these guys out before they get their pikes down. But no, he's going to form a shield wall, it looks like. A glorious shield wall. And there you go, the archer's firing, they're firing onto the pikes. A very smart idea, and they're taking these pikes down. A couple more men, you know, just nibble, nibbling away. Need to get those archers out of there, though. Those dull gold bla uh, glaives are coming in. Here they come. And the spears aren't going to catch them in time either. And there you go. They're going to get down a few of these archers. Oh! What a takedown by that archer. Oh my gosh, he's just going to beat him up. Jeez. And then he got stabbed. Jeez. What a kill. What a kill. And there you go. There's just a route there all of a sudden. And it was a period victory for Gondor. It's no surprise. Um, I mean, it was a 
bloody battle. I mean, Gondor was outnumbered by about 2,000 extra troops, but did excellent. I mean, the eliteness of Gondor just showed through. But let's look at some of the end results. Uh, so the general for Gondor got 208 kills. Ringlow Vale men at arms got 356. Which is excellent for them. That is more than expected. These guys are really, really cheap in comparison, like their basic sword infantry, um, which the best one for them got 310. So like, these guys did better than any Gondor sword infantry, and they all got over 200, which you can't say for the Gondor infantry. Um, then the Warriors of Lost Arch only get 102 kills. They their shock infantry, I find Gondor shock infantry is not great. They can do great, but I don't seem to end up doing very well with them. I was playing as Gondor, as you can see here, playing against the Dodgy Gob, so well done to him. It's an excellent battle. Um, Pedith Gill and Spears getting 107 kills. Um, 179 for the Gondor Spear Infantry. Uh, so not bad with them. Uh, Sail Little Guards getting 225. I believe this is the one that was probably fighting with the General. Then Gondor Arch is getting 228. 311, 361, 253, all of them doing excellent, excellent. and then the cavalry nearly getting 500 kills. It didn't seem like they were doing really well, but they did do actually excellent. I mean, they would, did take out a lot of archers, which probably racked up the kills a lot, but uh, they still did really well, and then the artillery getting 101 kills. And then Dolgodor, the general for Dolgodor getting 289 kills, so that's really good. They are a strong unit, the champions of Dolgodor. Um, Goldor Blades, which one was the best out of them? Probably... This one, 203. Actually, no, 445. Uh, there you go. That's a really good one. That was the last unit that stood. It's the Silver Chev Chevron one. Um, then the Goldor Glaives kind of got focused down a lot, only getting 51 uh, kills, the best one there. Then Champions of Dol Guldor getting 349 here. That's the best one of them. Phantoms just got absolutely obliterated. Uh, Dol Guldor's Pikes, uh, 262, and then the 200 is pretty good. Uh, all the rest kind of just got chewed up. Which, I mean, a lot, did, a lot did get caught out early on. And then the archers, yeah, did not do anything. That's why they're not really worth bringing. And then his R3 only getting 53 kills. Um, but there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that excellent Rise of Mordor battle. If you did, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support if you would like to see more Rise of Mordor action. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.